Okay. Um, good morning. Uh, my name is Kirk Cobb, and I have the honor of uh, serving as a part-time uh, research advisor here at the University of Minnesota. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about a little project here uh, that deals with anaerobic uh, digestion uh, using bacteria. And uh, of course, most anaerobic digestion is uh, is used to decompose. Uh, organic wastes to make methane uh, for uh, renewable fuel, renewable energy for uh, methane. Uh, this is a different application because you can also use anaerobic digestion uh, to, to uh, you utilize, uh, we'll talk about syngas for just a minute, you use a, a mixture of gases called hydrogen and carbon monoxide, are a, are a mixture called syngas, which we'll talk about in a minute. But the anaerobic, certain types of anaerobic bacteria can actually take uh, a hydrogen and carbon monoxide and react and combine them uh, biologically and produce other chemicals, useful chemicals like, uh, in this case, acetic acid or methanol or ethanol or uh, other types of products. So instead of breaking down uh, waste material, organic waste materials, it, uh, the bacteria, the anaerobic bacteria, can be used to build up uh, materials from uh, from uh, waste uh, from syngas. Now, a little bit about syngas. Uh, 150 years ago, in the United States and around the world, people were taking organic uh, uh, biomass, uh, wood chips or coal, and and pyrolyzing those uh, materials and they break down, thermally break down, to, uh, down to hydrogen, and a, a gas called synthesis gas, or, or town gas, and it's rich in hydrogen and carbon monoxide. And that was used to, to light uh, gas uh, lamps on uh, its street lights and things like that, in, you know, back in the mid, uh, mid uh, 19, uh, 1880s, 18, uh, the mid 17th, 18th century, 19th century, so years ago. So electricity has replaced all of that, that use of gas, but uh, a syngas is still a very viable, uh, now particularly thinking about renewable energy and that sort of thing, we can take biomass and, and break down the biomass with anaerobic digestion and produce methane. So, but like I said, this is the reverse of that where we're taking a syngas, we're not actually making syngas uh, in this experiment, we're actually using uh, some uh, compressed hydrogen from the cylinder and some compressed carbon monoxide from a, a, a compressed gas cylinder and mixing the two gases and then feeding it to the anaerobic bacteria that are circulating uh, and they're, com they're uh, contacting each other in this column. And uh, let's see, previous run we used a, a different type of packing. These are our kind of standard Paul rings that were, could be used in industry. They're made out of polyethylene. And the, the idea of having packing in a, in a column is to allow uh, the, the gas, which is coming up through the, the column, and the liquid, which is being pumped by this pump here, and coming around and, and spraying down into the packing, it, it, we contact the, the, the vapor coming up and the liquid coming down so that they, we can get mass transfer and uh, convert the, in this case, convert the uh, hydrogen and carbon monoxide to acetic acid in this case. So, uh, let's see, uh, to give you a little bit of background, um, the, what we have in the column now is a different type of packing. As I mentioned before, these are collar rings that we uh, previously used. We've now tried some clay balls that have some porosity to them as well. And we're, we're, our, our plan is to see if the uh, anaerobic bacteria tend to grow onto the uh, 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 porous uh, uh, clay balls. And we can increase the amount of bacteria growing in the column and increase the chemical kinetics of converting the hydrogen and, and carbon monoxide to acetic acid. 